بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس اینڈ ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ پاپ اپ لسٹ اینڈ ڈفرنٹ یوزز آف پاپ اپ لسٹ اینڈ اٹس فیچرز کیپیبلٹیز وٹ وی کین اچیو وتھ دس سو ایف یو سی ہیئر آئی ہیو دس ڈپارٹمنٹ سیٹا سمپل ڈپارٹمنٹ سیٹا ویئر آئی ہیو ڈپارٹمنٹ نیم اینڈ لوکیشن جسٹ اسٹینڈرڈ ٹیبلس and now i have uh, demonstrated pop up list in two types uh, of oracle apex one is uh, interactive grid and another is the form so let's first move to the form uh, <coughs> so if you see here i have a department number i have department name and location right so let me first let's say for example here i don't have department name location but uh, department number is there so let me click here and if you see here uh, because this was old data so i will just uh, update this with maybe so department name and location is empty at the moment right so i am just going to click this and now it got a populated using pop up list right so even from the pop up list you can Uh, populate other fields within your form right so let me save it and now it is there the data is there <coughs> this is one okay so another thing is let's say for example if i am selecting this pop up list if you see here you can see more columns in your pop up list i just included three you can include more as well so it will be just like Uh, a list with and then you can have certain uh, filters over here so once you will type here it will um, filter accordingly so I will show you th those settings okay this is one in the form so if you have to populate or show other information on the form you can use this one in this table I have added both department name and location so when you will submit it will also uh, update over here next is uh, interactive grid so if you see here here also i have department number name and location so here it is empty at the moment uh, let me change here so i'm selecting let's say 20 so if you see here even in interactive grid the pop up list populated both department name and location so let me save it okay it's submitted saved so if i refresh so if you see here this research and uh, location is there right okay how to do that now the question is uh let me open my application okay and in this you will go to this shared components this uh, on the top right with this with the torch next to this shared components and in this you will come to the list of values okay so this is a list of values so if you see here if i i will go to this department i don't know what's wrong with that okay so if you see here this is uh, one of my list and it is come linked to a table and then it will return employee number and e name but actually this is not my pop up list it should be this one why well, it is ah, it's okay now okay uh, so it's a department table department number and display will be department number default sort is department number so no other setting is just like a normal uh, list of value in this additionally what i did i have selected additional columns to show over there so here you can select additional columns like this so whatever you want to show you can put on the right so just move on the right side right so department number department name and location okay that's it it is just normal other uh, pop up list so <coughs> if you will not do like this one then it will only show let's say in this case it will only show you department number right 
so we are showing additional columns and now I will be showing you how to change so if I will move to this interactive grid and here I have department number right so here I have defined it pop-up LOV uh, it shouldn't be select list right not select list it should be pop-up right pop-up LOV <coughs> and I have displayed it as model dialog so if you will see in line it will just display under the uh, field so model it will pop up another uh, sort of uh, model window or dialog right uh, there are certain uh, settings over there multiple values you can select then then if you will select multiple then it will not work to assign some value to another field but at least this option is there uh, manual entries there search as you type so if you will select this one you can um, so for the do settings for this uh, for the size so it will pop up blank LOV and then when you will type it will show the data so the different part over here is this additional outputs which I have in my case are D name and LOC so what I did in this department definition or assignment of uh, pop-up list <coughs> excuse me in the additional column I have given D name D name is my column name <coughs> sorry colon D name so it will take this D name and will assign to this and then there is a comma and then LOC location colon LOC right that's it this is my interactive grid so here I have selected like this okay and one thing you have to keep in mind which is if you will go to D name this column come down and you need to assign a static ID right otherwise it will not work so in both cases you need this static ID which I have manually entered okay you can keep it something else but a static ID which will be referred over here right over here so you can click help it will show you the detailed help over here as well so now next I have I will be going towards the form and let me open form and edit uh, let me show you there how I did think it was an edit mode let me do that four number it is four number right okay this is now my four number and if I see this one is my form that was interactive grid so in form there is a minor difference that now you have uh, page items right so colon p4 underscore d name so this is your field name column name and uh, this is your field name. so whatever is there in that uh, pop-up LV as a D name it will be assigned to this uh, page item right and same for the location so I have two columns uh, page items so I will just copy over here from here and just paste it over here right so this is how you can use uh, your pop-up LV and this is for other settings uh, which I've already discussed uh, initial fetch is automatic I am just using it so if you want to search based on some typing so I will say minimum if if something is typed let's say one it will show you the data right so up to you it is your requirement if you want to do that one then you can assign pop-up width you can assign pop-up height title etc and this is your label mm, that's it I think I think uh, doing this one so normally this requirement is always there to display additional columns when you select select and uh, list of value so this is how you can achieve that one so if here in this case there were two you can have more as well so whatever is there you need to define in the additional uh, let me show you that one once again this additional outputs right so if I take this one copy let me show like this and format font I think let me I think yeah this is okay right so 
if I take this one this is my column name and this is my item reference where it is colon p4 p4 is my for page 4 and d name and then comma so if I have another uh, column then I will put another noted comma there will be a comma and then let's say for example for example I don't know what should be there um, let's say id I'm just giving id and then p4 underscore id something like this yeah so you can add more columns over here if you need so when you will select the only thing is uh, i would say missing in this part which is on initialization so let's say for example when you will select it will assign the value so if you are uh, uh, you have added these columns as just display only or something like these are not database or table column then when you will next time open uh, your page these two will be empty this is only the drawback so what I did in this table which was my employee table I added these two columns so when you will select it will assign value to these and when you will submit it will save in this it will be saved in this table right so next time when you will open you don't need to worry about it data will be there so this uh, I will say drawback or I don't know shortfall is there in the pop up LOV because I haven't seen this uh, initialization just like page load or something like that so whenever you will uh, open the page it should automatically populate these values as well based on selected value in the department number because at the moment I haven't found any such property so maybe in future release or some other way around but for that I just created these two columns in this table right uh, just try try to use this uh, meet your requirements and please share your feedback as well thank you very much and Allah Hafiz